Question 1. Answer is trade capital expense for variable expense and stop guessing about capacity. The six advantages of cloud are 1. Trade capital expense for variable expense. 2. Benefit from massive economies of scale. 3. Stop guessing about capacity. 4. Increase speed and agility. 5. Stop spending money running and maintaining data centers. 6. Go global in minutes. You do not gain greater control of the infrastructure layer as AWS largely control this, and though AWS is compliant with lots of security compliance programs, not all programs in all local countries will be included. Question 2. Question 2. Answer is increase speed and agility and stop guessing about capacity. Increase speed and agility. In a cloud computing environment, new IT resources are only a click away, which means that you reduce the time to make those resources available to your developers from weeks to just minutes. This results in a dramatic increase in agility for the organization since the cost and time it takes to experiment and develop is significantly lower. Stop guessing about capacity. Eliminate guessing on your infrastructure capacity needs. When you make a capacity decision prior to deploying an application, you often end up either sitting on expensive idle resources or dealing with limited capacity. With cloud computing, these problems go away. You can access as much or as little capacity as you need, and scale up and down as required with only a few minutes notice. Question 3. Question 3. Answer is you don't need to guess your capacity needs. All of these statements are true. However, the question is specifically asking how AWS can assist with capacity requirements. I.e. how does AWS enable organizations to ensure they don't over or under provision their resources? The ability to scale on demand is the key advantage that can help them here as they can deploy what they know they need today and scale it as they need to tomorrow. Question 4. Question 4. 
Answer is infrastructure as a service, IaaS. With IaaS the IT department have the most flexibility and management control over resources as only the infrastructure layer is provided by the cloud provider. Everything else is managed by the end customer. This means more control and more responsibility for management. With PaaS and SaaS, the cloud provider manages up to a higher level in the stack. This means that as an organization using the service you have less control and less responsibility. On-premises cloud is a cloud deployment model, not a cloud computing model. Other cloud deployment models are private, public and hybrid. Question 5. Question 5. Answer is reduce the need to manage infrastructure and increase efficiencies through automation. With the AWS cloud you can increase efficiency through the use of automation and reduce the need to manage infrastructure, allowing you to concentrate on managing applications instead. Question 6. Question 6. Answer is benefit from massive economies of scale and increased speed and agility. The six advantages of cloud computing are Trade capital expense for variable expense Benefit from massive economies of scale Stop guessing about capacity Increase speed and agility Stop spending money running and maintaining data centers Go global in minutes. Question 7. Question 7. Answer is paying only for what you use. With AWS you only pay for what you use. However, you cannot choose your own hardware, infrastructure and the payment model is operational, OPEX, not capital, CAPEX. Question 8.
Question 8. Answer is reduced operational overhead. Fully managed services reduce your operational overhead as AWS manage not just the infrastructure layer, but the service layers above it. Examples are Amazon Aurora and Amazon Elasticash where the database is managed for you. Question 9. Question 9. Answer is by automatically scaling resources based on demand. Elasticity refers to the automatic scaling of resources based on demand. The benefit is that you provision only the necessary resources at a given time, optimizing cost, and don't have to worry about absorbing spikes in demand. Question 10. Question 10. Answer is public. The public cloud is offered under a purely pay-as-you-go model, unless you choose to reserve, and allows companies to completely avoid capex costs. The public cloud is also highly elastic, so companies can grow and shrink the applications as demand changes. Private and on-premise clouds are essentially the same though both could be managed by a third party and even could be delivered under an OPEX model by some vendors. However, they are typically more capex heavy and the elasticity is limited. A hybrid model combines public and private and this company wants to go all in on a single Answer is A and D because CloudFront is a content delivery network CDN, that allows you to store, cache, your content at, edge locations, located around the world. This allows customers to access content more quickly and provides security against DDoS attacks. CloudFront can be used for data, videos, applications, and APIs. Answer is C and D because subnets and security groups can be configured from within the VPC console. Answer is D because AWS Direct Connect provides a low latency, high bandwidth connection to connect customer on-premise environments with the AWS cloud which allows them to create a hybrid cloud architecture. Answer is a because Amazon Route 53 is a highly available and scalable domain name system, DNS, service using hosted zones. It can also be used for domain registration, health checks, and traffic flow. Answer is B because an AWS managed VPN can be used to quickly connect from an office to an Amazon VPC. An Amazon VPC provides the option of creating an IPsec VPN connection between remote customer networks and their Amazon VPC over the internet, as shown in the following figure. 
consider taking this approach when you want to take advantage of an AWS managed VPN endpoint that includes automated multi-data center redundancy and failover built into the AWS side of the VPN connection. Answer is a because an Amazon Virtual Private Cloud VPC spans all availability zones within a region. Answer is B, because a security group acts as a virtual firewall for your instance to control incoming and outgoing traffic. Inbound rules control the incoming traffic to your instance, and outbound rules control the outgoing traffic from your instance. Security groups are stateful meaning that if traffic is allowed in one direction, the return traffic is automatically allowed regardless of whether there is a matching rule for the traffic. Answer is A and D, because CloudFront is a content delivery network, CDN, that allows you to store, cache, your content at edge locations located around the world. This allows customers to access content more quickly and provides security against DDoS attacks. CloudFront can be used for data, videos, applications, and APIs. Benefits include Cache content at edge location for fast distribution to customers. Built-in distributed denial of service, DDoS, attack protection. Integrates with many AWS services, S3, EC2, ELB, Route 53, Lambda. Answer is D because a network access control list, ACL is an optional layer of security for your VPC that acts as a firewall for controlling traffic in and out of one or more subnets. Network ACLS operate at the subnet level not at the availability zone level. Answer A and D because you can connect from your on-premise data center to a VPC via Direct Connect or VPN Cloud Hub. AWS Direct Connect is a network service that provides an alternative to using the internet to connect a customer's on-premise sites to AWS. If you have multiple VPN connections, you can provide secure communication between sites using the AWS VPN Cloud Hub.